Work. Doctor, this is the mayor talking. All right, all right. Doctor, come on, what, what? Always do the right thing. If you came here to hear for fake, you are in the wrong place. We are for real around here. We keep it real. This is the Doug Stewart Show, the livest, the realest, the trillest sports talk show in America. Are you not entertained? This is sports talk with hot sauce. Texas Pete Hot Sauce, the Doug Stewart Show. Yeah! Game time. Mute. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome to the Doug Stewart Show, man. The realest, trealest. Sports and guy talk show in America. If you're just jumping on, you're a little bit early. And you get to preview the new show open. Um, As a matter of fact, we like the new show open so much, we're going to bring it back one more time just to let y'all hear it one more time. All right? Doctor, this is the mayor talking. All right, all right. Doctor, come on, what, what? Always do the right thing. If you came here to hear for fake, you are in the wrong place. We are for real around here. We keep it real. This is the Doug Stewart Show, the livest, the realest, the trillest sports talk show in America. Are you not entertained? This is sports talk with hot sauce. Texas Pete Hot Sauce, the Doug Stewart Show. Yeah! Game time. <laughs> Welcome to the Doug Stewart Show, man. And this is a Man Talk Monday. Yes, sir. July 6, 2015. Hope you had a great 4th of July weekend. Uh, but you are locked and loaded and listening to the realest, the trealest, most unfiltered sports talk show in America. Yes! Yeah, thank you for joining your boy on the Doug Stewart Show, man. The number to the show is 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the DougStewartShow.com. Once again, we got a lot of new uh, uh, marketing that we're doing, so we uh, probably have a, not, a lot of new listeners to the show. Thank you very much for joining me on the Doug Stewart Show. I appreciate it. We do this Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. All right, so uh, give us a call at 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the DougStewartShow.com. But the easy way to be totally interactive, the easy way is just to jump on the chat on Spreaker.com. So follow the show on Spreaker as well as download the Doug Stewart Show app from your, from your app store, and then you're totally locked in. And then after you do all of that, then there's a little chat button. You click on that little chat button, and bam, you're introduced to a whole new world. I call them the Stewies. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Stewies. The Stewies is it's, it's a world of, of, of chatters, talking sports, entertainment, whatever's going on in the world of uh, sports and entertainment, as well as uh, whatever we get into guy talk on this show, on the Doug Stewart Show. All right. Um, a lot went on this weekend. We're going to talk about this NBA free agency, obviously. Uh, we're going to talk about somebody blowing off their damn hand. And I told you somebody was going to do that from the 4th of July weekend. I hope your 4th of July was safe, actually, uh, to be honest with you, because there was a lot of foolishness out there, man. Whenever the 4th of July weekend goes down, uh, you always hear about increased violence and crime. And I just saw a story this morning on the news where they were talking about uh, the murders in Chicago, which is nothing new, uh, sadly to say, it's nothing new. But um, uh, so yeah, I hope you had a great Fourth of July, and it was. Uh, I hope it was safe for you as well. Uh, we're going to talk uh, once again, obviously, about a ton of NFL free agency. I just discovered last night something very, very interesting. We're going to get into that here in a second as well. A couple of NFL stories. Uh, we're going to do what we're going to do. We're going to do what we're going to do on the Doug Stewart Show. So I guess uh, congratulations are in order. (laughs) 
Congratulations are in order, man. Um, we do birthdays as well. We'll talk about some of the uh, the famous birthdays of today. Congratulations are order for Team USA, the women's soccer team, as they win this year's World Cup and beating the hell out of Japan 5-2. to two. And, I mean, Japan scored a goal in the second half. And I think it was four to one at the at the break or whatever, and then Japan scored one goal and the USA scored another goal, and so the USA dominated, man, five to two. Five to two is kind of like the equivalent of, uh, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Five to two in soccer, in football, as the rest of the world calls it, is kind of like I don't know, uh, fifty to seventeen in football. <laughs> That's a big ass blowout. So congratulations to the uh, the women's soccer team, man. Well done. Well done. But, so, this is just a caveman in me, though. So, last night, I'm just sitting around and flipping around the TV, and I come across this station uh, called Fuse. And I didn't even know there was a Fuse that, that existed. But last night, one of the greatest things since I've seen since, I don't know, sliced bread or uh, the wheel or... I don't know, uh, the intranet, (laughs) the interweb, I don't know, Uh, is women's tackle football. Yes! (laughs) (sighs) And jump on for a second here, Tree. Tree is back, the producer to the Doug Stewart Show. Jump on here for a second, Tree. What? So, So, listen, so... The, the name of the league is called the Legends Football League, and evidently it was derived from uh, lingerie football. Uh, the, the name of the league was called lingerie football in its inception. It was founded in 2003. Uh, the first season was in 2009. There are six teams in this league. And evidently, evidently this whole thing came from a halftime like event that, that somebody put together, whereas women... Damn near naked. They in their draws, all right? They in their draws, and they, they out there playing football, okay? Um, somebody put it together. God bless them. And uh, it was fantastic. It was fantastic. And Did, you need me because what? Because I wanted to get your thoughts. Are you a fan of, uh, of lingerie football? Why would I be? I, I mean, I saw because, when you uh, did the Periscope. Yes. And so I looked and I, I mean, I don't have a problem giving women compliments at all. I'm confident in me, so I don't right. need to deflect. Uh, but what I saw was a lot of boxy, flat back. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I mean, if that's what you like, cool. Now, now let me explain it a little bit more to people uh, that are listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Okay, so it's 7-on-7. Seven seven. You know how they do a lot of these 7-on-7 seven seven camps now in high school football? And I think they might even be doing them in uh, college and pro as well. But so it's 7-on-7, seven seven, and it's women, and they're wearing like these little, it looked like hockey helmets or whatever, headgear. And uh, they're, they're naked almost. They got on like a bathing suit. And they've got a shirt on, but they roll the shirt out to expose their boobies. So not all of them do, but nine out of ten of the women, they roll their shirts up above their bust line and their and their tiggle bitties uh, are exposed. So I just found this thing fascinating last night. I had no idea it was still going on. We actually have a team here in the ATL called the Atlanta Steam. I will buy season tickets today. Yes, sir. (laughs) If they're the right price. Uh, People are saying that they, I probably turned it off before. I mean, because once I, I probably had it on for about um, three seconds, 30 seconds. Right. Uh Uh-huh. I wasn't impressed, but I'm sure there are some nice looking girls. Oh, yeah. There was a lot of nice looking ones. Now, there were a couple of them. That uh, that you definitely don't want to meet in a dark alley. I mean, there were a couple of them that uh, that clearly, not that there's anything around with it, but clearly there was a couple of women out there that that really don't prefer to even look at a guy. But that's fine. Uh, I mean, a lot of them needed to do some sit-ups. That's fine as well. 
That's okay. That's okay. But there were a lot of fine chicks in this league. And, and like I said last night when I was doing the Periscope, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show, I'm pretty sure that these women's auditioned as opposed to worked out, uh, tried out for a team. Now, once again, it's crazy because they were tackling. It was full board football. It wasn't no flag football, nothing like that. These chicks was tackling. I mean, it was a couple of them that looked like fantastic athletes, and one in particular it was a young lady playing running back for the uh, the Las Vegas Sin. Oh, yeah, and they got all of these cute little nicknames as well, which is fantastic. There was this young lady that played running back for the for the Las Vegas Sin, and she broke broke out a long run and put her hand down the ground, spinned out, bounced off a couple of tackles, and showed some great athleticism. So, I mean, I was very impressed right la- last night. I was. I was thoroughly entertained. I got to get to know more about this. <laughs> And I see a lot of people say, man, you lost. Where you been at? You know what? I, I, I knew about it. I heard the term, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. I heard the term before, lingerie football. But once again, I thought that it was kind of like a, a publicity stunt thing, and I thought it had came and gone. And, you know, I remember. I remember the whole thing when they did the halftime thing at the Super Bowl, and it was actually on a different channel, I believe, from which uh, the Super Bowl was. And so I thought it was like a one-time gimmick thing. They actually got a, a league. God bless them. I mean, where there's a will, there's a way. Yes. And so, ooh, congratulations to them. And, oh, yeah, before we jump to a break, man, today, <laughs> and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show, and I promise you in the next segment, we're going to get to all of this NBA free agency. And I know I know what you're saying right now. Doug, your Lakers, uh, they suck. Uh, they're going to be horrible this year. And I tend to agree with you, but. We'll get to that in a second. We'll get to that in a second. I think we really pissed that thing off, man. That draft now has really bothered me, the fact that we didn't take Okafor. But we'll get into that in a second. Also today, man, is National Fried Chicken Day. Yes, sir! (laughs) National Fried Chicken Day, shorty. And so I was trying to decide on whether we were going to do some type of top five on – on fried chicken or what, the top five fast food fried chicken joints. But really when you think about it, and I thought about it this morning, there's not really a lot of fast food uh, joints that are national. I mean, you got KFC, you know, and kind of like in the uh, in the same family as uh, in the same vein in which we did top five uh, hamburger joints before. But you got KFC that's national, and other than that, there's no other – Fried chicken joint that's that's national. You, you know, you got Bojangles, you got Popeyes, but they aren't all over the place. They aren't everywhere. Um, so I don't know. I don't know how we can kind of incorporate conversation about fried chicken today. And I don't care what you say. Damn your uh, your stereotype thinking or whatever. Uh, do you like fried chicken? Be honest. <laughs> I mean, who don't love the yard bird, man? Who do not love the yard bird? Come on, man. So today is National Fried Chicken Day. Go out and get you some chicken. We know you like it. You was on Periscope at that restaurant tearing it up. Yeah, yeah. We were talking about fried chicken on uh, Periscope today. Once again, we can include some type of conversation about yard bird today. I mean, it should it should have its own national day. Yes, sir. National Yard Bird Day. <laughs> All right, when we get back from the break, man, on the Doug Stewart Show, we're going to go ahead and get into this conversation, man, about uh, NBA free agency. A lot of big moves happened this past weekend. We're going to talk about all those. The number to the show is 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. But once again, the easy way is just to jump in the chat room on Spreaker.com. Shouts out to all of the Stewies already in here. I love new. I numb you. Yeah. LaMarcus Aldridge is going to San Antonio. We'll talk about that and a whole lot more. Don't go away. This is the Doug Stewart Show. Fantasy sports fans are winning huge cash prizes every day at DraftKings.com, America's favorite place to play daily fantasy sports. Daily fantasy means no season-long commitments. Play whenever you want. Just pick your sport and draft your team. It's like a new season every time you play, so you're never stuck with the same players. Last year, $300 million were won at DraftKings.com, and you could be next to win big. 
Go to DraftKings.com now and enter promo code STU to play for free. That's STU for free entry now at DraftKings.com. Also, if you use promo code STU, DraftKings will match your initial deposit up to $600. Deposit $600, play with $1,200. DraftKings.com, promo code STU. The Doug Stewart, Stewart Show. Show. The place where the real players play. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service. The, the Doug, Doug Stewart, Stewart Show. Show. That's a brand name. Like Pepsi, that's a brand name. I stand behind it. I guarantee it. The The Doug Doug Stewart Show. If you ain't stewing, what the hell are you doing? Yeah! What is 911 Tax Relief? It's a tax relief company that can help you reduce or remove your IRS or state tax debt. They'll help stop bank levies and wage garnishments by implementing offers and compromise or penalty abatements. 911 Tax Relief is a tax relief company, but they're different from the others. Their experts are licensed and role tax agents, and they also have more than 12 years' experience helping people solve their tax problems. They're a tax relief company that understands how the IRS works, and they'll also put that knowledge to work for you. So, they can get you the best possible settlement or solution to your tax problems. Highly rated by the Better the Business Bureau, and they've helped thousands of people solve their tax problems. So, don't play around. Click on their link on my website and let 911 Tax Relief help you in your situation with Uncle Sam. Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show. Man Talk Monday. Um, we're going to get into a lot of this free agent stuff here in a second. Thank you for joining your boy. <laughs> what are your thoughts about uh, women's football, laundry football they're calling it? Um, I, I saw it for the first time last night and I was totally intrigued. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, yeah. What are your thoughts on that? As well as today is National Fried Chicken Day, and uh, we're going to get into all of this conversation about the uh, NBA and free agency. Everything that went down over this weekend was just absolutely crazy. But in life, uh, things happen good and bad, and being prepared is always important. If you're like me, a husband and a father and a protector of that family tree, then your family is the most important thing in your world. 95 million U.S. adults don't have protection in place, man. So what I have done is I put my protection in the hands of the largest and number one independent financial services company in North America, and that's Pry America. If you're a parent, husband, or wife and want to discuss options with one of Pry America's top reps, then call my guy Greg Wynn at 678-439-7172. Again, that's 678-439-7172. And he will come and talk to you about some of your options for life insurance and get you right. He's locally here in Metro Atlanta, but... Uh, he can do a deal in any state uh, and sign you up for a policy in any state in the country. So give him a call and tell him that the Doug Stewart Show sent you. All right, quickly, before we talk about this NBA stuff, man, breaking news kind of. Uh, uh, Rory McIlroy tore a ligament in his ankle uh, playing soccer. I guess he was feeling kind of froggy because of the, the, uh, the World Cup going on with the women. And so he was out there joshing around with his friends, allegedly, and tore a, a ligament in his ankle. Initially, when the story came out, uh, they were saying it was his Achilles. At least the stories that I saw was that it was his Achilles. Um, this can't be good. I don't know. I'm not a doctor, obviously. Uh, but going into the uh, British Open, uh, the Open, um, this this isn't good. So the, the odds of him winning have gone down in Vegas, and this is just a horrible, horrible, horrible thing to happen. Uh, just joshing around, playing around. and it, it, I haven't heard a time as far as how long it's going to take for him to heal and for him to get back out there, uh, but a ruptured left ankle ligament is what they're calling it right now uh, for Rory McIlroy. 404-382-0338 is the number to the show. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. So I've got like a list in front of me of all the free agent signings or – uh, deals agreed upon 
uh, signings agreed upon by uh, particular NBA players. Uh, so we'll kind of, you know, discuss some of the most significant ones throughout today's show. But obviously everybody's talking about LaMarcus Aldridge uh, after a couple of days of uh, deciding and flying around and talking to different teams. He's going to be a San Antonio Spur, man. I mean, four years. <laughs> wow. Four years, $80 million. And uh, congratulations today, young man. A fantastic player. Um, Skill set is just tremendous. Uh, He's going to San Antonio basically just to take off what Tim Duncan is going to leave off. Now, Tim Duncan, they're saying right now, is going to play another year. So he's going to move down to the center position. Really, he's been playing center his entire career. Um, They've had Tiago Splitter in the last couple of years. They've had a couple other guys that, quote, unquote, were playing center and Dunk was playing the four. For some reason, Duncan always wants to be labeled as a power forward as opposed to a center. But I don't know. He looks like a center to me. So Duncan's going to play center this year. And you assume LaMarcus Aldridge is going to play the four. Um, Then you got Kawhi Leonard playing the three. Uh, At the two, you have Danny Green, I guess, uh, who's going to sign a new deal with San Antonio as well. Congratulations to him. You talk about Ashy the Classy. Danny Green played for like four different teams. Moved around, bounced around a little bit. So that man has hit some big shots in his career for San Antonio. So congratulations to him. He's going to stay with the team. Then you'll have Tony Parker at point guard. They're going to look to try to sign Mano Ginobili. Um, And so San Antonio, after this deal came out that that LaMarcus Aldridge was going to go and play for the Spurs, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show, they shot up the the, the charts in Vegas as far as uh, teams that's going to win the NBA Finals this year, uh, this coming year. So depending on which... Uh, casino you look at in their in their you know odds uh i've seen them on many different casino boards as being tied for second i think five to one with the golden state warriors to win a national or or an nba championship and still at number one though is the cleveland cavaliers who are going to make some moves as well uh so man the rich get richer and the poor stay poor if you're talking about my los angeles lakers damn it So the Lakers get shut out of this thing, man. I mean, I'm looking at the players that the Lakers have gotten to agree uh, to come and play for them, man. Everybody's been talking about Roy Hibbert in a deal. The Lakers are going to trade for Roy Hibbert. He's going to be a Laker now. Uh, Brandon Bass is going to come over uh, from the Boston Celtics and play for the Lakers. He's a solid power forward, but, I mean, I mean he's, he's nobody great. And back to Roy Hibbert. I mean, Roy Hibbert, you got to be freaking kidding me, man. I mean – and today's NBA as well, Roy Hibbert, really? Really, Lakers? You, you, you go out and get Roy Hibbert? The way these cats are jacking up these threes and the game is, is, is fast-flowing? Roy Hibbert, who looked like he's running in cement shoes around this piece? You go out and you get Roy Hibbert? And then uh, also, uh, Lou Williams has agreed to a deal. I like Lou Williams, but Lou Williams uh, historically has been a, a backup. He's been a six-man uh, type of guy throughout his career. Doesn't play great defense as well, even though he's from uh, right here in Metro Atlanta, played for the Hawks for a minute. I like Lou Williams, but this is nothing to write home to mama about. And if you're new to the show, then this is the Doug Stewart Show. I'm a Laker fan. I guess I should have said that first because we do have a lot of new people listening to the show. I'm a Laker fan, man. It's just very disappointing, man. It's just, it's just very disappointing, uh, to say the least, that the team that, that free agents flock to, uh, for many, many years are having this much difficulty in getting big-name free agents to come there and play, man. And I don't know. We got into the whole conversation last week on whether it was just the team, the organization, or was it Kobe. And I mean, there's a lot of blame to go around, man. I, I, it's just very disappointing. But guess what, though? I'm going to show y'all how to be a fan, Jack. I'm going to show y'all how to be a fan. I ain't going nowhere. We've been through this before. Thank you. Thank you, studio audience. We've been through this before, man. The Dale Harris days, uh, we've had ups and uh, obviously a lot of ups, but we've had a couple of downs, and it's fine. And I'm going to show you how to be a fan. I'm going to ride with the Lakers through thick and thin, man, all right, uh, until the end of time. You know, and, and hopefully this is going to be short-lived and we're going to be able to get this thing together, uh, but it doesn't look like a bright future. And the thing that really pisses me off about this, man, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show, the thing that really pisses me off about this, one, is, is we didn't take Jaleel Okafor, all right? 
that's the big thing. That we didn't take Jaleel Okafor at number two. And this Russell kid, everybody's singing his praises and saying that he's he's a great pick uh, uh, for this team going forward, especially how the way the NBA is played today. But but I just look at it like this. If we would have taken Jaleel Okafor at number two in the draft a couple of weeks ago, then we could have had uh, an opportunity to go out and get Rajon Rondo. And maybe they didn't do it because I think they still possibly could have done it. But I would have liked that that lineup. I would have liked Rondo and Kobe and Julius Rando and, and Jaleel Okafor and give us something to look forward to in the future. But now we got a bunch of these has-beens and a bunch of guys that can't even run and chew bubblegum at the same damn time. And it's very disappointing. It's very disappointing. So I want to get your thoughts on the Lakers. I want to get your thoughts on LaMarcus Aldridge. And also the other big news uh, from this past weekend is DeAndre Jordan is going to play for the Dallas Mavericks. Now I'm going to tell you what I think about this ninja. <laughs> hey, listen. If they want to get that man that money, that's fine. But he's going to find life very difficult, I believe, uh, and going and playing for Dallas because they don't really have a point guard of note right now that I can think of on their team. I know they got J.J. Barrera. He's not a starting point guard. Uh, Raymond Felton's old as Methuselah, um, who they have listed on their uh, depth chart. But he's really going to miss all of those free dunks slash alley-oops that he was being fed by uh, Chris Paul. And uh, once again, a tremendous athlete. Uh, they compared him to Tyson Chandler, but better. I think that's a very good comparison. That's a very good comparison, but I'm sure Tyson Chandler probably shoots a better free throw percentage. But, yeah, a tremendous athlete, man. Freak athlete, to be honest with you. But offensively, I mean, he, he sucks. And uh, we'll see. We'll see if this works out for him. Maybe Dallas is going to try and, and bring in another player or whatever um, to play at the point guard position that we just haven't heard about yet. But be very careful. He's going to get his money. And, and shots out to the young man for getting his money once again. Um, but the grass ain't always green on the other side. He could have stayed with the Clippers. And allegedly there was some type of beef between him and Chris Paul. Chris Paul didn't stroke his ego enough or whatever. Um, and so he, he wanted to go and play for the Dallas Mavericks. I think he's from the state of Texas as well. Uh, but, yeah. We'll see how that turns out, man. If you're a Dallas Mavericks fan, and I know we got people that do listen in the Texas uh, area, uh, in the state of Texas as well. If you're a Mavericks fan, what do you think about this move? If you're uh, a, a San Antonio Spurs fan, what do you think about the move and bringing in LaMarcus Aldridge? Probably the first big-name free agent that the uh, Spurs have brought in in a long time in the in the entire tenure of Greg Popovich and Tim Duncan. Uh, so obviously, you love the moves. But what are your thoughts on it, man? And also, man, if you're a Laker fan, I need to hear from y'all today too as well, man. I just need to hear from y'all today as well. I mean, can, uh, can we just grieve together? <laughs> can we grieve together? You know? It'll go a long way to heal in our souls and our hearts after coming up with Nathan. Absolutely Nathan uh, to talk about. In NBA free agency. All right, the number to the show is 404-382-0338. You can email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. But once again, the easy way is just to jump on the chat line on Spreaker.com. When we get back from the break, we'll talk about some of these birthdays. And uh, we're going to jump into this chat, man. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, this absolutely sucks. All right, don't go anywhere. This is the Doug Stewart Show. In life, things happen, good and bad. And being prepared is always important. If you're like me, a husband, a father, and protector of that family tree, then your family is the most important thing in the world. 95 million U.S. adults don't have protection in place. So... What I've done is put my protection in the hands of the largest and number one independent financial services company in North America, and that's Primerica. They look out for middle America because they believe that offering the most competitive premiums only benefits the client and have been doing so since 1977. If you're a parent, husband, or wife and want to discuss options with one of Primerica's top reps, then call my guy, Greg Wynn, at 678 678- 
678-439-7172. Again, that's 678-439-7172, and he'll put your family first. And hey, tell them that Doug Stewart sent you. Yes! I don't like Donnie Gill. He took my spot on New Edition. One of my favorite songs of all time from New Edition is Can You Stand the Rain? So to pay ode to that famous song, man, I'm going to give you my little rendition of uh, Can You Stand the Rain? <clears throat> on a perfect day, I know that I can count on you. Ooh, ooh. When that's not possible, tell me can you weather the storm? Oh, oh. Then Ralph jumps in. Because I need somebody who will stand. Shut up. Shut up. Who will stand by me and through the good times and bad times. She will always, always be right there. Hey, sunny days. Everybody has them. <laughs> and tell me, hey, can you stand the rain? J. Rob, Tree, if you stop Doug singing, we will renege your BPA nomination. Huh? Busser Doug. I see why you got kicked out. Dude, this, <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Back up. Back up, Jack. Shut up. Studio audience, y'all are out of control today. I mean, seriously, we're going to talk about this. We're going to have to take y'all into Larry's office after this show. That ninja. Ninja, you just cracked my damn phone screen. What? Where's all of this coming from? Who's putting y'all up to say these things? Who's putting y'all? I, okay. Tree, Tree, jump on for a second. You're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Did you prompt these people to say these nasty things to me on Spreaker.com? You know what? I mean, it's jealousy. Tree, we know that you sing. We know that you sing. But you you don't have to be the only person that can sing. Okay? I, I can see it. I can see it. What do the kids call it? Hating? Is that what's going on here, Tree? Are you hating on Doug Stewart? Dirty Tadella. Oh. oh, my God. Dirty Tadella. Oh. Dirty Tadella. Oh. <laughs> First of all, thank you for listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Now, if you've been listening for a while, you know that we've grown exponentially over the first couple of months. Whether that's listens, whether that's followers, we're blowing up and you can be a part of it. If you have a company out there and you like to promote on the Doug Stewart Show, we'd love to partner with you. Here's what you do. Email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. Once again, that's Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. Whether that's locally, regionally or nationally we can get the word out what you're talking about is middle-aged dudes that love sports and love exciting sports talk once again email me at doug at the doug stewart show.com that's doug at the doug stewart show.com and we will put you out there all right that's doug at the doug stewart show.com let's do some business yes You know, I was, I was wondering, you know, if you could keep on because I feel good. I feel like singing this uh, got a lot of power. on this fine Monday. It makes me feel like you know, <laughs> it. It makes me feel like it. Oh! Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show. Man Talk Monday. So, yeah, I do feel like singing today, man. So, I might... Y'all stay tuned, man. I might sing something for y'all today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, for the pre-applause. <laughs> Shouts out to all of the Stewies. I'm going to jump into some of this chat here in a second on a Man Talk Monday on the Doug Stewart Show from the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. Um, so, once again, the number is 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the DougStewartShow.com. Uh, so a couple of birthdays of note. Today was a good day for birthdays. I wonder what scientifically makes into uh, some of these more popular, more talented people being born on certain days as opposed to other days where nobody, <laughs> where nobody was born. But today, Curtis Jackson, aka Fifty Cent, uh, turns forty years old. Why did I think Fifty was older than forty? He looked kind of old. He looked like he done had a hard life, and clearly he has. Uh, you know his story. 
rap sensation, member of the East Coast group, the G Unit, uh, was ranked the sixth best artist of the 2000s by Billboard magazine. 50 used to flow when he first came out. Not so much now, and maybe he's just distracted with other business ventures or whatever. But you remember when 50 first came out with, uh, what was it called, The Art of Robin or something like that, where he just basically went off on everybody in the industry that kind of made his name. Uh, and then you know about the banger uh, in the club sensation in 2003. Damn, that was 2003. Doesn't seem like that long ago. Uh, you know about his history. Um, he uh, was shot, what, six times? Nine times, eight times or whatever. I don't know how many times it was, but got shot, survived that. So you always get some good street cred when you get shot six, seven times and survive. Um, And then also, I didn't know this, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. He competed in the Junior Olympics as a boxer. Uh, So congratulations to to 50 cents. He turns 40 today. It was nine times. And then you got shot nine times and survived. And once again, I've talked about this dude before, man. Just a, just a supreme hustler. And trust me, hustling and making money and making something from nothing is a talent. And, uh, you know, 50 Cent got that talent, man. And I absolutely love Power Tree. Jump on for a second. You weren't here last week when I talked about it. But I uh, got caught up with Power, saw this pass. Uh, they didn't have an episode this weekend. I guess they skipped it because of the 4th of July. But I'm caught up with Power right now. And kudos to, to Power, to 50 Cent. To the producers, I think it's actually better than last year. I mean, they had to step it up because of Empire and all that ish he taught. Not to say that it was even in competition with right. Empire, but in 50's mind. He's a competitor. And you're exact right. and you're exactly right. Uh mm-hmm. once again, all I guess people try to compare him because they're two uh, black shows or whatever, and they kind of got an edge about themselves, but that's about it. I mean, the shows, the storylines got absolutely nothing to do with each other for the most part. Uh, there's some killing on both, but yeah, I mean, it was good the first year, but but seemingly this year, it seems like it's been stepped up even a little bit more. It's, it's damn good, man. I really like Power. Uh, it's much more grittier, uh, once again, than, than Empire. And because obviously it's on cable and they have a lot more liberties than they do on network TV. So congratulations to 50 Cent. Sylvester Stallone turns 69 years old today. <laughs> and Tree has written here, Queen of Plastics. Oh, my gosh. We talked about one day last week uh, top five uh, movie franchises or sequels of all times. Uh, in honor of, a, a matter of fact, it was in honor of the new Rocky movie coming out called Creed, where uh, they introduce uh, Michael B. Jordan, that's his real name, as Apollo Creed's son, who's now turned to a boxer. And as hokey and as cheesy as you would think that sounds, if you've seen the trailer, uh, I'm kind of intrigued. I cannot wait to see this movie. So Rocky, uh, a.k.a. Sylvester Stallone, turned 69 years old today. Happy birthday to him. I mean, can you imagine the amount of steroids that dude has consumed in his life? <laughs> Did you see though why his I could I think he has a complex you saw why his face is the way it is. Well, before the surgery. Uh-huh. His he, the doctor jacked him up with the forceps. You think so? No, that that is That's the story. Fact. You're right. Yeah. Right. right. That's uh, his story. Uh, not paid attention to a lot of that. You know what? I always thought there's just a, a lot of drug abuse. You remember a couple of years ago, Tree, when he got caught on that uh, that flight, that commercial flight, with like a suitcase full of steroids? <laughs> and if you yeah. see this dude, this dude was 50 years old, and he looked like a freaking bodybuilder. I mean, so everybody knew that. That was the worst kept secret in Hollywood. I'm saying, though, his face didn't just... Like it's gotten progressively uh, concerning. But well, I mean, he is he is almost 70, though, Tree. It was I mean, that's a ba- that's like a that. That, that's a bad mix <laughs> when you're 70 years old and you consume that much uh, that amount of uh, steroids. It's, it's got to have an ill effect on your face too, I would think. You know, bless his heart, he just needs to juice. Uh, Jay Crowder turns 25 years old today. Uh, NBA forward uh, Namdi Asamoa is 34 years old today. You know who that is, right? You know who that is, Tree. I mean, I know, first of all, I want to uh, congratulate you on pronouncing the name because I sure didn't know. Oh, he's a, he's a football player. So Can I've, you say it again? Namdi Asamoah. 
Namdi Asamoa. Yeah, but you you know what he's famous for, right? <laughs> he was a damn no. he's a damn good cornerback um, in the NFL. Or used to be a damn good cornerback in the NFL. But you know what he's more notably known for, right? No. He's married to Kerry Washington. What? Yeah, that ninja. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, yeah. They just had a baby, too. Yeah, yeah. He's married to Kerry Washington. I mean, that was a Boom. good one right there, fella. That was a nice one right there. Uh, George W. Bush turns 69. Della Reese turns 84. You see I skipped by George Bush. Della Reese is 84. Della Reese is still alive? Wait a minute. It, it, would she have been 84 today, or did she die like 10, 15 years ago, and, uh, or is she still alive? I, according to uh, the sources that we use, it said she was alive. Well, congratulations. You made it to 84. I'm being alive. Praise God. <laughs> Who am I thinking about? Oh, I'm thinking about uh, Maya Angelou. I mean, they, they, they kind of one and the same to me, unfortunately. I mean, they're very old. Maya Angelou just passed away a little while back. So, Della Reese, uh, you know, you shot my pig toe off you know that Della Reese from Harlem Knights she's 84 today T and Tamara Maori the sisters the twins they turn 37 today and also the great Dalai Lama turns 80 years old today as well <laughs> happy birthday to all of them if you got a birthday if somebody in your family got a birthday man you like to give me um or shoot me an email I I'll give them a shout out man on the Doug Stewart show I mean we love uh uh you know uh, celebrating birthdays around here all right 404-382-0338 is number to the show. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show .com. From Lamar, what about the dude who put the fireworks on his head? Shaking my head. Uh, now, we're going to talk about uh, Pierre Paul uh, from Jason Pierre Paul from the, the New York Giants here in a second. I told you all about them damn fireworks, man. Fell pay due to Maine, shot the fireworks off his head and died instantly. Darwin, I didn't even hear about this story, but evidently it's all over the chat room. I missed this. So wait a minute. It is true because I returned you, you, to work yesterday and I had to read the story for Yahoo. Somebody put fireworks on their head and they died? Yes. Drunk. He, he uh, His name is Devon. I can't think of the last name. But he and his friends wait have been minute, wait, drinking wait, 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 all day. Is, is, is a black person? I mean, I'm assuming. I don't <laughs> yeah, know no hey. white people named Leroy, but right. um, you know what I'm saying. What? It's okay. And you know, the he man, didn't get your warning you gave out. Right. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart show. Now listen and listen. You are really upset about this. Yeah, because I mean, I'm about to do something right now that I've never done or I don't oh, take Lord. pride in. Somebody that, that died, I think we have to nominate them for a boiled penis award, right? Uh, I mean, he died, so it's kind of. Doug, come on. I mean, we shouldn't do that, right? But, I mean, shouldn't that person win the Boyle Penis Award? Huh? Well, one, one thing that's of concern to me is how do we know he lit the fire? Like, that? I had to read this story, like, three different ways yesterday. And one of the, the ways indicated that there was a question as to whether he actually lit it right. or somebody else did. What, did they hold him down? I mean, he had to no. light it because if they didn't hold him down or he wasn't tied up, you couldn't, you couldn't, uh, you know, make somebody hold some fireworks on their head and then have the time to light it. No, but if you said tree, put this or tree, put this fireworks box on top of my head and light it, and I did it, even though you told me to, that's murder. Right. So they're trying to establish if he lit it himself. Or one of them other boys lit it. <sighs> it's absolutely horrible, man. A mess. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're not going to nominate this guy for a ball penis award. I mean, and for new listeners, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show, the ball penis award is an award that we give to the buster of the week. Usually in sports, occasionally outside of sports, but my gosh. All right, so when we get back from the break, man, uh, we'll talk about more NBA free agency. Uh, and then I'm going to read more of your chat, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the chat and being totally interactive on the Doug Stewart Show. Um, follow your boy on Periscope. Make sure and follow me on Periscope at the Doug Stewart Show. Also on Facebook, the Doug Stewart Show Facebook group. And on Twitter at the Doug Stewart Show. All right, we're all over the place. 
All right, when we get back from the break once again, more of your chat, more of your discussion about everything that went down this past weekend in the world of sports and beyond. The realest, the trillest, the most fun show in America. The Doug Stewart Show. You know what it is. Don't go away. You've been thinking about starting that online store, right? And you do know e-commerce makes billions a year. That's right. I said billions with a B, okay? A B. Well, just do it and do it right with my friends at AmeriCommerce. AmeriCommerce is an easy-to-use tool to sell anything online on Facebook and through mobile phones. Over 100,000 merchants and website owners have chosen AmeriCommerce to handle their stores and customers. They have the most in-depth features in the industry, which include multiple storefronts, website management for one console, a Facebook shopping application, a mobilized, optimized website, and much more. Don't let eBay, Amazon, and Zappos get all the money. Get your piece of the pie, too. Click on their banner link on the DougStewartShow.com or the app link for more details. First of all, thank you for listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Now, if you've been listening for a while, you know that we've grown exponentially over the first couple of months. Whether that's listens, whether that's followers, we're blowing up and you can be a part of it. If you have a company out there and you like to promote on the Doug Stewart Show, we'd love to partner with you. Here's what you do. Email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. Once again, that's Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. Whether that's locally, regionally or nationally we can get the word out what you're talking about is middle-aged dudes that love sports and love exciting sports talk once again email me at doug at the doug stewart show.com that's doug at the doug stewart show.com and we will put you out there all right that's doug at the doug stewart show.com let's do some business yes Fantasy sports fans are winning huge cash prizes every day at DraftKings.com, America's favorite place to play daily fantasy sports. Daily fantasy means no season-long commitments. Play whenever you want. Just pick your sport and draft your team. It's like a new season every time you play, so you're never stuck with the same players. Last year, $300 million were won at DraftKings.com, and you could be next to win big. Go to DraftKings.com now and enter promo code STU to play for free. That's Stu for free entry now at DraftKings.com. Also, if you use promo code Stu, DraftKings will match your initial deposit up to $600. Deposit $600, play with $1,200. DraftKings.com, promo code Stu. Yeah, make sure and stay tuned, man. I got a, uh, I think I got a, a nice little selection worked out in my mind. What we're going to perform a little bit later today on the Doug Stewart Show. If you're new to the Doug Stewart Show, every once in a while, man, I'm inspired to sing. And because I've been blessed with that talent, I do it. I mean, it's actually an integral part of the show now. Uh, people come from miles around to hear me sing, so... You know, it's a sports and entertainment, and so what I do is I bless, uh, I bless the mic with a tune usually, uh, usually every day. Sometimes uh, a day or two passes, but but today I'm feeling real good, man. So you're probably going to get something from me a little bit later. Yes, sir. Um. So once again, NBA free agency really dominated this weekend in sports. Uh, we talked about some of the most relevant ones. The bigger names are earlier, and LaMarcus Aldridge and uh, DeAndre Jordan going to Dallas and some of the moves that the makers are, are going to make, uh, set to make. But one uh, one in particular, man, that was just – it's just mind-blowing. And once again, I don't want to sound like I'm hating on these cats or anything like that. Once again, if the, if the teams want to write you a check for so much amount of money, evidently they have it, right? I mean, that's just common sense. They got it. So we ain't crying for no NBA franchises. But but Reggie Jackson, no, no, not the not not the outfielder slugger for the New York Yankees from 1976 or whatever. 
Yeah, hit three home runs against the Kansas City Royals or against who? Who were they playing? It wasn't the Kansas City Royals. Uh, was it the Mets? It might have been the Dodgers or whatever. And not that Reggie Jackson. No. Reggie Jackson, the point guard for the Detroit Pistons. <laughs> Reggie Jackson's getting a a a, a five-year deal for 80 million dollars this man's getting a five-year 80 million dollar deal you know the man that was a backup point guard in Oklahoma City who who showed some flashes when Russell Wilson or Russell Westbrook uh, excuse me kept getting hurt so he had some flashes he looked like a good player and he's he's been solid as hell but Reggie Jackson not the original Reggie Jackson is getting five years and $80 million from the Detroit Pistons. That's all you really need to know when you talk about how outrageous and enormous these NBA free agent deals have become. I mean, bless his heart, once again, I want to make sure and I state that many, many times, I wish it was me, okay? But come on, man. If you give it, like, this salary cap thing, really, um, I don't know if it's possible uh, and you know the new commissioner or the new players union rep, and I can't remember the young lady's name. I'm sorry, she actually isn't that young, but she's a little bit older. But she's talked about this ridiculous notion of salary caps, you know. And yes, it it, it does. You need to have, I guess, something in place uh, so that you would have parity in uh, in sports. You got to have parity. You can't have, you know, one team with all of the money and they sign all of the best players and then they don't have any competition. I, I get all of that, but my gosh, if if in a cap-driven league, you giving Reggie Jackson five years, eighty million dollars, if they didn't have a salary cap and you could just pay cats what what they're worth in relative terms, you could play the best players more money and the worst players, you can pay them whatever the hell you want or whatever they command on the open market. Can you imagine how much money LeBron James is worth? Like if Re- Reggie Jackson. Okay, let's go, let's, let's go back to LaMarcus Aldridge. He's going to make $20 million a year. Four years, $80 million. If you're giving LaMarcus Aldridge $20 million a year, how much does that translate to when you talk about LeBron James? I don't know, $60 million a year? $70 million a year? <laughs> I mean, it's just unbelievable, man. Congratulations. Congratulations to these players, though. I mean, it's actually a good thing for most of the league. For some of the league, the upper echelon players, they're probably mad that they got a free agent uh, or, or a salary cap because they really could be banking, I mean, just just ridiculous amounts of money. But you do have to have parity. You do have to have a competitive uh, type situation with sports. I do get that, man. So it's just, it's just crazy, crazy to think about some of the big deals that these guys are getting. This is the Doug Stewart Show. Thank you for joining me. Uh, this segment is brought to you by Ticket Liquidator. Since 2003, Ticket Liquidator has been connecting buyers and sellers to give you the opportunity to attend the most sought-after and often sold-out events across the country. The goal is to bring you more tickets, better service, and lower prices so that you can be there to witness the best of the world of entertainment, culture, and sports. For all your sports and entertainment tickets needs, give them a call at 855-638-3034. Once again, that's 855-638-3034. And tell them the Doug Stewart Show sent you. Let me read more of this chat here. Uh, thank you for the chat. Hit me up in the Spreaker chat. I call it Fantasy Island on Spreaker.com from Eugene Jackson. He says, wow, the Spurs have the best starting five in basketball. I don't know about that. Um, if you factor in the age of Tony Parker and Tim Duncan, uh, maybe not. I'm trying to think of another team that probably has a better starting five. I mean, hell, the starting five for Houston is fantastic. The starting five for Dallas is now fantastic. Uh, if you put in, once again, in the equation, the age of the players. Um, but, you know, obviously, uh, starting fives don't denote the best starting five. It's all about chemistry. It doesn't really mean you're going to win a championship. But, yeah, I mean, you can really make the argument Spurs probably have the best starting five um, in relative terms when you think about it. If everybody's healthy, once again, age is a big factor in talking about that with that team. Uh, but, yeah, if those guys are healthy um, – They probably do have the best starting five in basketball right now when you add LaMarcus Aldridge. From J-Rob, Tree, welcome back. But BPA nomination for hating on the LFL, there was some finesse out there. Yes, sir. I don't know if Tree was hating on the LFL. (laughs) 
everybody is marginalizing it. Not me. <laughs> I'm not going to marginalize the, uh, the LFL, the Ladies Football League, or they call it actually the Legends Football League. I guess that was a marketing type thing. Originally, it was talked about as the Lingerie Football League, but they're calling it the Legends Football League now. I don't know how the hell they got any legends. Uh, some of them chicks out there look like legends, though, with uh, mm, the way they look. From Grego, season tickets for the LFL will be around $50. <laughs> if that, if that. I'm serious, man. I'm going to look into a franchise today. How much it costs to buy a franchise. We could definitely use one in Charleston in the Chuck. I mean, that would go off like, 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 like bananas. That would be great. From that ninja, Doug, when the playoffs start, they should step in, step it up, and go to thongs. I mean, have you seen it? They damn near got on thongs right now. I mean, th- th- these little bathing suits, they tight as hell, and they all way up the crack of their ass already. But, yes, maybe they do something like that. Step it up, uh, you know, uh, from uh, that ninja, Doug, top five ways to prepare chicken. <laughs> All right, so you know number one, top five ways. And, I, and if you're just joining me on the Doug Stewart Show, I talked about it earlier. Today is National Fried Chicken Day. And I thought about doing the top five fast food uh, chicken restaurants, but there's really not that much to talk about, so we decided not to do it. So the top five ways to do it, what was that cartoon on, um, it was a, one of those Looney Tunes cartoons. Uh, oh, no, it wasn't Looney Tunes. <laughs> you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. It was the Smurfs. You remember, you remember uh, Gargamel always used to talk about how he was going to cook the Smurfs? Oh, I'll fry a few and pickle a few and serve a few real cold. <laughs> I'll boil a few and so-and-so, whatever he used to say, man, the great Gargamel. Uh, but, yeah, I guess number one is fried chicken. And number two is you bake it. Number three is you, uh, uh, is there any other ways to cook chicken other than that? Grill, broil, okay, stew. Okay. okay, let's back up. Let's back up then. Let's 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 relook at this. Thank you, Tree. I'm not a cook. I'm not really a cook. I can cook. I can survive. But number one is fried. I mean, that's we agree in that, right, Tree? Yeah, we can fry it. Okay. Number two, you got grilled. I forgot about grilled. You mentioned grill. Grill is fantastic. We grilled some chicken this weekend for Fourth of July here. All right. Number three is probably baked. What did you say? What are the other options you just said, Tree? You can stew it. Oh, stew chicken. All right, that's old school. That's country. That's what the old people used to do. Then you can stew some chicken. And what's the last one you said? I said broil, like, but I guess that's the same as baking. Yeah, yeah, same thing. So we got four ways. You happy, uh, that ninja? Uh, from Eddie Mo 2.0. I love fried chicken. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Me too. And 99% of America. Uh, it's crazy to me how people always talk about, you know, talk about these stereotypes. Uh, try to label it to one people. Man, well, black people are the only one like fried chicken. Yeah, that's crazy. Everybody like fried chicken. Man, who don't like fried chicken? From Busa, the great Popeyes with a pepper. Yes, sir. Add a little pepper to the side. You can't beat it. A little uh, jalapeno pepper. From Fel Pay. The closer you get to the state of Louisiana, the better the Popeyes gets. Laugh out loud. Um, I talked about it when... When I went to New Orleans uh, a couple of months back, uh, celebrating 25 years in the fraternity with my line brothers, and we went to New Orleans, man, and you know it. I can't remember the name. Maybe it's Leroy's. But they had, uh, like, a franchise because there were, like, three of them on the little party section in New Orleans on Bourbon Street. Um, And this fried chicken joint stayed open all day. I think it's 24-7. And there's nothing better than some crispy, tasty spicy fried chicken at 4 o'clock in the morning after you've been drinking all night. There's absolutely nothing better. I can't remember the name of the spot. Uh, maybe somebody will tell me in the chat. But it was absolutely stupendous. And I, I mean, that's, maybe I should try to open up one of those or something like that, man. A fried chicken joint. I mean, they never go out of style, right? From uh, Andre Elam, that fried chicken sold in the Shell gas station is good as hell. <laughs> I believe it's called Country Chicken with a K. Or something like that. Anyone else had it? Yeah, I've had the great country chicken while traveling uh, in the gas station. It is good. I mean, it's really hard to mess up fried chicken. I mean, technically, I've never really had bad fried chicken. I've had better fried chicken. But I've not had something that you would quantify as bad fried chicken. It's really hard to mess up fried chicken if you really think about it, you know. That's almost like somebody used to say back in the day, have you ever really had some bad Nootsie? Hey, you t- 
technically never had bad news. You know our dude's always like, man, how was it? Eh, it was alright. <laughs> what? That's a lie. That's a damn lie. And there's some Nootsie that's better. All right, all right, let's stop talking about Nootsie, all right? You get the point I'm saying. <laughs> it's hard to mess up Nootsie and fried chicken. All right, all right, don't, don't, don't go away. This is the Doug Stewart Show. In life, things happen, good and bad. And being prepared is always important. If you're like me, a husband, a father, and protector of that family tree, then your family is the most important thing in the world. 95 million U.S. adults don't have protection in place. So what I've done is put my protection in the hands of the largest and number one independent financial services company in North America, and that's Primerica. They look out for middle America because they believe that offering the most competitive premiums only benefits the client and have been doing so since 1977. If you're a parent, husband, or wife and want to discuss options with one of Prime America's top reps, then call my guy, Greg Wynn, at 678-439-7172. Again, that's 678-439-7172, and he'll put your family first. And hey, tell him that Doug Stewart sent you. Yes! I don't like Donny Gill. He took my spot on New Edition. One of my favorite songs of all time from New Edition is Can You Stand the Rain? So to pay ode to that famous song, man, I'm going to give you my little rendition of uh, Can You Stand the Rain. <clears throat> on a perfect day, I know that I can count on you. Ooh, ooh. When that's not possible, tell me can you weather the storm? Oh, oh. Then Ralph jumps in. Cause I need somebody who will stand. Shut up! Shut up! Who will stand by me through the good times and bad times? She will always, always be right there. Hey, sunny days. Everybody has them. And tell me, hey, can you stand the rain? J. Rob, Tree, if you stop Doug singing, we will renege your BPA nomination. Huh? Bust a Doug. I see why you got kicked out of dude. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Back up. Back up, Jack. Shut up. Do the audience. Y'all are out of control today. I mean, seriously, we're going to talk about this. We're going to have to take y'all into Larry's office after this show. That ninja. Ninja, you just cracked my damn phone screen. What? Where's all of this coming from? Who's putting y'all up to say these things? Who's putting y'all... I, okay, Tree, Tree, jump on for a second. You're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Did you prompt these people to say these nasty things to me on Spreaker.com? You know what? I mean, it's jealousy. Tree, we know that you sing. We know that you sing. But you you don't have to be the only person that can sing, okay? I, I can see it. I can see it. What do the kids call it? Hating? Is that what's going on here, Tree? Are you hating on Doug Stewart? Dirty Tadella! Oh. oh, my God. Dirty Tadella! Oh, the Stella. Oh. <laughs> First of all, thank you for listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Now, if you've been listening for a while, you know that we've grown exponentially over the first couple of months. Whether that's listens, whether that's followers, we're blowing up and you can be a part of it. If you have a company out there and you like to promote on the Doug Stewart Show, we'd love to partner with you. Here's what you do. Email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. Once again, that's Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. Whether that's locally, regionally, or nationally, we can get the word out. What you're talking about is middle-aged dudes that love sports and love exciting sports talk. Once again, email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. That's Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com, and we will put you out there. All right? That's Doug at the Doug Stewart Show. Com. Let's do some business. Yes. Doctor, this is the mayor talking. All right, all right. Doctor, come on, what, what? Always do the right thing. If you came here to hear for fake, you are in the wrong place. We are for real around here. 
We keep it real. This is the Doug Stewart Show, the livest, the realest, the trillest sports talk show in America. Are you not entertained? This is Sports Talk with Hot Sauce, Texas Pete Hot Sauce, the Doug Stewart Show. Yeah! Hour two, baby. Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show. Every great hero has his own theme music. What was that from? I'm going to get you, sucker. I couldn't remember I'm going to get you, sucker, last week we were talking about something, man. But that's right. Every great hero has his own theme music. Thus, two shorts blow the whistle for mine. (laughs) This is a uh, Man Talk Monday. Thank you for joining me on the Doug Stewart Show, talking about NBA free agency, talking about the the enormous amount of money these cats are getting on these deals. Uh, Congratulations to all of them. Uh, At the top of the show... (laughs) And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. I talked about the the Legends Football League, a.k.a. the Lingerie Football League. They get a ball award on a Monday. <laughs> they get a ball award on a ball of busted Monday, man. I'm actually going to make some calls and try to find out what it's going to cost for a franchise. I'm assuming it's not going to be much at all. Uh, so I'd like to put one in Charleston, in, in, my, uh, in my second hometown of Charleston, South Carolina. So we've been hitting all of that. I uh, hope you had a great weekend. Mm, fireworks. Y'all heard about this Jason Pierre-Paul dude for the New York Giants. He injured his hand Friday uh, or 4th of July in a fireworks accident in South Florida. You know he's from South Florida. The 26-year-old former first-round pick was examined by doctors after being hospitalized for his injuries, which were not believed to be life-threatening or anything like that. Uh, he has severe burns on his palm and tips of three fingers. And one finger is being tested for nerve damage. Damn. Now, you remember Tree was talking about it earlier, and y'all been talking about it in the chat room as well, of this guy that died as a result of fireworks being blown off of his head. And I was trying to decide whether I was going to give the guy a Boyle Penis Award or not, or nominate him for a Boyle Penis Award. Uh, We decided against doing that. But there was some question about his ethnicity um, because when I heard the story I mean immediately I didn't think that a black person would do something like that because we just don't do crazy things like that it seems like we kind of value our life a little bit more uh, than our brethren uh, uh, from other races and but the guy's name was Devon and, and, and a name like Devon that says black all day long but we're finding out the guy was a white guy that just had a black name Devon <laughs> and uh, I guess I shouldn't laugh and he actually died so yeah we don't play with fireworks like that in general. And this is kind of like a PSA or, you know, get to know black people segment. We don't play with fireworks like that. All weekend long, I kept seeing this meme uh, and it showed like, and it said uh, how black people light fireworks. <laughs> and it was a black kid, like a, like a teenager it looked like. And he was like stretched out. Like he was doing a split, trying to light it. As far away as possible so that he could get traction and run away. That's how we light fireworks. (laughs) So I don't know what happened. And usually when, when, and and once again, I'm a fireworks connoisseur, uh, aficionado. Uh, Usually when somebody blows up some fireworks in their hands, it's because it didn't go off. And they went back and they touched it and they picked it up thinking that it was dud, that, that it was a dud. And then it lights and then it blows up their damn hand. But rarely... I mean, I don't think it's even possible for you to light some fireworks and not have enough time to get the hell away. Right. Once again, and that's happened to me before with some firecrackers where um, I lit the firecrackers, left, thought they were done blowing up or whatever. Maybe I lit the whole pack at a time as opposed to one or two and went back to, to go and check it and it blows up. You know, so they're very unpredictable. But, yeah, that just didn't sound right to me. A brother putting some fireworks on his damn head and dying. Uh, bless his soul. I don't know why you would do something like that, sir. And, but right now you're enjoying a cup of coffee with, uh, with, with the highest of high. So, uh, RIP to you, sir. RIP to you. But yeah, Jason Pierre Paul, nerve damage. That sounds serious to me. 
That sounds serious to me. This is the Doug Stewart Show. I've been talking about uh, NBA free agency all day long. Let me read more of your chat. Oh, I didn't mention uh, one birthday. I don't know how I missed it. Happy birthday to Kevin Hart, man. Uh, how old does Kevin Hart turn today? 36. The great Kevin Hart turns 36 years old today. Make sure you follow your boy on Periscope. Uh, as far as everybody that I follow on Periscope, I don't really follow a ton of people. Once again, a lot of people are not on Periscope. They aren't on Periscope. They haven't heard of Periscope. I think it's only been out now for about a month and a half. Uh, but Kevin Hart is on Periscope. And this ninja was at the Essence Festival this weekend. I don't know if he performed or not. I didn't watch that long. But he went live on Periscope backstage before he made some type of appearance. This man had 25,000 people watching him on Periscope. 25,000. You talk about hot as fish grease? Like Kevin Hart's nickname should be Fish Grease because he's hotter than it. And uh, the man is everywhere. And uh, 25,000 followers of people jumped on Periscope this particular uh, time that he went live this weekend and, and checked him out. You know, backstage uh, uh, in New Orleans. How was Essence Festival? If anybody that listened to the show went to Essence Festival, tell me how it was. I know it was fantastic. I've never been to it, but I heard that it's it's just bananas. And I can only imagine. I can only imagine going to New Orleans for Mardi Gras. I've never been to Mardi Gras. Uh, I've never been to the Bayou Classic. I've never been uh, to the Essence Festival. But I can only imagine on a regular damn night, that place is just crazy. I mean, seriously, it just is. So I can only imagine what it's like down there for a big festival like that, man. Uh, and tell me, tell me how it was if you were down there. 404-382-0338 is the number to the show. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show dot com. From Sandman, I've been watching that LFL football league on and off for a couple of years now. It's actually competitive and a decent watch, but borderline surprising. Funny to see chicks move like that on the field. Oh yeah, yeah. And one night of me watching this thing, man, it's very competitive. Now. Once again, I know it seems kind of sexist and, you know, they're playing on, you know, I guess some type of way, the fantasies of men and the subjectifying women or whatever. But these chicks are going for it. I mentioned earlier about there were a couple of real good looking athletes out there. And I know, I know a lot of people are offended by this statement, but I was more entertained last night watching 30 minutes of the LFL than I've ever been in the entire existence of the WNBA. And I know... I'm, I'm just being real. Maybe it has something to do with them being half naked. I don't know. I don't know. But that's a real, real opinion. That's a real thought. These chicks was going after it, man. I'm going to look for a franchise and see how much it costs for a franchise. From Clay Davis's Sheed advisor. I think players are waiting for Kobe to retire before signing with the Lakers. Ugh. Brother Babe, there, there are no Laker fans left to grieve with. They're all Clippers fans now. I don't believe that. Stop it, sir. That's a lie. Stop it, brother babe. You're not even a real brother babe. Speaking of which, we've been in negotiations to get him on the show uh, here uh, soon, so stay tuned for that. From, uh, from J. Rob, Spurs are going for it right now. I see Spurs and Warriors in the West. Word is that the Cavs are going for Joe Johnson from the Nets. I heard about that as well. As Joe Johnson goes to the to the Cavs, that's a fantastic move. Joe Johnson's always been a second or third fiddle, even though we were paying him like he was the number one guy here in Atlanta. But that's a perfect team for Joe Johnson to go to. I mean, that's like a match made in heaven. He doesn't have to be the star. All he has to do is just, you know, be Joe Johnson, which is a very good player. Uh, but he ain't no number one option. He don't have that hot type of heart. From the truth, Doug, don't hate on the Lakers moves. We'll see. Hopefully I'm wrong, man, but I don't feel good about the Lakers moves. I just I just don't. From the brother beloved, Jordan says he wants to play more half court and post up, folks. The Clips wouldn't let him show his skills. Do he even have those skills? And he's talking about DeAndre Jordan. Does he have those skills? I mean, he's like a, uh, he's kind of like Dennis Rodman. I mean, really no offense to talk about. Dunks? I mean, that's, that's, that's. That's applicable, I guess. It works. But he ain't got no low post moves or nothing like that that I've seen. All right, when we get back from the break, man, we'll talk more about uh, uh, the NBA free agency. I'll read more of your chat. And, uh, yeah, we'll keep doing that. There's a ton of chat. I want to get to a lot of chat, man. Tree's back now, so we're able to do more chat. Uh, So we'll read a lot more, man. 
kind of like a thank you to all of the, the Stewies in the chat room. We are totally interactive here on the Doug Stewart Show. Totally interactive, all right? So don't go away. Keep it locked. The Doug Stewart Show. In life, things happen, good and bad. And being prepared is always important. If you're like me, a husband, a father, and protector of that family tree, then your family is the most important thing in the world. 95 million U.S. adults don't have protection in place. So what I've done is put my protection in the hands of the largest and number one independent financial services company in North America, and that's Primerica. They look out for middle America because they believe that offering the most competitive premiums only benefits the client and have been doing so since 1977. If you're a parent, husband, or wife and want to discuss options with one of Prime America's top reps, then call my guy, Greg Wynn, at 678-439-7172. Again, that's 678-439-7172, and he'll put your family first. And hey, tell him that Doug Stewart sent you. Yes! The best of the Doug Stewart Show. I've been talking about red rice and frog more stew. Another one on the list or number 13 on this list is penis tastes better boiled. <laughs> yes, yes. And as God is my witness, as God is my witness, my wife did not know people boiled penis and ate them. She did not. My wife's from Ohio. And yes, boiled penis, if cooked right, are the bomb. <laughs> Sports talk. Straight, no chaser. All right, so I got to clear something up. <laughs> And I don't even know why anybody's mind would even work like this, but uh, evidently it's becoming a topic of conversation. In the last segment, I was talking about boiled pea nuts, okay, that come from out of the ground, not boiled pea nuts. <laughs> and so, evidently there's some talk in the chat room about Doug talking about boiled uh, man parts. No. Peanuts. I'm trying to say it as slow as I can. Peanuts. Okay. Uh, what is it? P E A N U T S. Peanuts. <laughs> no, man. Not boiled peanuts. Come on, man. And I see Vern in here. Damn you, Vern. Ugh. Y'all know what the hell I was saying. <laughs> this was the Doug Stewart Show. What is 911 Tax Relief? It's a tax relief company that can help you reduce or remove your IRS or state tax debt. They'll help stop bank levies and wage garnishments by implementing offers and compromise or penalty abatements. 911 Tax Relief is a tax relief company, but they're different from the others. Their experts are licensed, enrolled tax agents, and they also have more than 12 years experience helping people solve their tax problems. They're a tax relief company that understands how the IRS works, and they'll also put that knowledge to work for you. So, they can get you the best possible settlement or solution to your tax problems. Highly rated by the Better Business Bureau, and they've helped thousands of people solve their tax problems. So, don't play around. Click on their link on my website and let 911 Tax Relief help you in your situation with Uncle Sam. Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show. So, yeah, I'm looking at this, uh, this Legends Football League. Actually, I'd rather call it Lingerie Football League. All right, so there's only six teams. There's only six teams in this thing. You got the Chicago Bliss, the Atlanta Steam, uh, the Omaha Heart. I mean, I mean, damn, they can put a, a franchise in Omaha, Nebraska. We can damn sure put one in Charleston. Uh, the Seattle Mist, the Los Angeles Temptation, and the Las Vegas Sin. Yes, Lord. The Las Vegas Sin. So what they're doing is, I see, I see. You're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. I'm going to read more of your chat here in a second. 
what they're doing with these names and the marketing and everything is is genius. I mean, they're they're kind of playing on, you know, cute little tricky, sexy type names. The Las Vegas Sin, the Los Angeles Temptation, um, the Atlanta Steam. Oh, it's a steamy sexual situation. The Chicago Bliss. I like it. I like it. Fantastic. And it kind of reminds me of, and I said this last night on Periscope, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show right now, and I pulled up, uh, you remember the roller derby from back in the day? <laughs> Which we didn't get to see a lot of roller derby. I think the roller derby was uh, was kind of like a, uh, it was, was a Midwest thing. I think it kind of originated in Chicago from what I read a couple of uh, uh, hours ago. And, you know, the roller derby was these women, a lot of them really weren't sexy looking. They were bruisers. And they used to fight, and they used to argue, and they had these real tough names. I'm looking right now of examples of derby names, roller derby names. Um, I can't even say this one. It's kind of a name in comparison to Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. I can't even say that one. Um, let me read one of them that I can say the names of some of the women that played in roller derby. Uh, okay, so this is a play on Hell, Hello Kitty. Uh, one of the players' names was Oh Hell No Kitty. <laughs> uh, Punky Brewster. Punky Bruiser. Uh, ooh, I can't even say that one either. And some of these names are very raunchy. I mean, but yeah, okay, so the point is <laughs> Animosity. Animosity, get it? Uh, smack Ops, Black Ops. So it, 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 the point I was trying to make is is this LFL? Uh, kind of like the modern day version of, of the roller derby. Uh, I, I like how they've taken women's, you know, competitive physical contact sports to the next level. I'm a fan of the LFL. I'm a huge fan. <laughs> the roller derby was a bunch of uh, mean looking chicks. I mean, the roller derby was kind of like you know WNBA players before they had the opportunity, and they were on skates. And they used to do all of these old plays. Go to YouTube and, 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 and YouTube Roller Derby, and you'll see what I'm talking about. If you're a younger person, you've probably never seen it in your life. I think it still exists, though. Uh, but I'd suggest you watch the LFL as opposed to Roller Derby. I mean, you know, some of them chicks put you in a headlock. It's a wrap. It's an absolute wrap. 404-382-0338 is number to the show. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show. Dot com. More of your chat here, man. Thank you for the chat from Grego. Uh, what up, Grego? He so he says. Uh, so is Chris Paul the next mean player that people would not want to play with? Yeah, maybe he is, man. And 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 Chris Paul and Kobe have one thing in common: is they're very, very competitive, and they don't like losing. And I respect that. I mean, I respect that. And I don't know the beef between Chris Paul. And DeAndre Jordan, if there even was a beef, I don't know. But if DeAndre Jordan didn't want to play with Chris Paul because Chris Paul was demanding, then, then you know, shame on him. As I was saying last week, there's all this conversation about Kobe Bryant and nobody wanting to go play with Kobe. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. I mean, that's just ridiculous. From Jeff Ennis, uh, Annis, he says, Clippers were kind of set up nice if Jordan stayed. Uh, yeah, they were. I mean, hell, most people think they should have made it to the Western Conference Finals this year um, and thought they would have given Golden State a real battle um, if they did. From uh, who do we got here? That Ninja. What up, That Ninja? He says, Doug, alley-oops aren't hard to execute. Mm, in relative terms, but I also think there's kind of a feel thing and it's kind of an instinct thing. Uh, with alley oops, and Chris Paul was one of the best at doing it. Uh, and there's no denying that. You remember when Chris Paul was in uh was in New Orleans? He used to throw alley oops to somebody else all the time too. Maybe it was Tyson Chandler. I can't remember, but Chris Paul is just he's just unbelievable at that whole pick and roll game and alley oops. He's just he's just an incredible at doing it. So we'll see, we'll see. If, if you think JJ Barrera is going to be able to get alley oops to to, to, to DeAndre Jordan like Chris Paul, you got another thing coming. Now, maybe they're going to draft another player. Um, you know, I don't know. But as it looks right now, I mean, he's lost a little bit of his offense. I'm sorry. Yeah, it, it, theoretically, it's simple to, to execute alley-oops. But, 
And probably not, because if it was, everybody would be doing it to the degree the, the, the Clippers have been doing it for the last couple of years. Um, from uh, J. Rob, he says, Doug, Russell was nice, and you need a guard, especially in the West. Rondo would have been a terrible pickup for the Lakers. You don't need him in your locker room. Lakers can get another decent guard on the open market. What I said earlier, man, is I'm kind of regretting. And, I mean, only time will tell when you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Only time's going to tell on whether we did the right thing or not with this uh, D'Angelo Russell kid. I don't know, but I just feel like right now that they did that because they thought they were going to get one of those, those big men. They thought that they were going to get DeMarcus Cousins maybe some kind of way, or maybe they thought that they had a bead on LaMarcus Aldridge. I mean, that's the only thing that makes sense is why would you pass up a Jaleel Okafor? You know, I mean, Russell might end up being the best player um, down the road, but there was no real talk that I heard of and talking to people that I know inside the NBA, these quote-unquote analysts uh, or these experts. Nobody was thinking that Jaleel Okafor wasn't going to be the number two pick in the draft. So we'll see, man. You get too cute and you mess up. And I actually like Rondo. Uh, Even though Rondo can't hit the backside of a barn as far as shooting, uh, Rondo's a floor general. (laughs) And Rondo gets everybody easy shots. And, yeah, he's, you know, hard to work with, allegedly. Um, That's fine. I mean, he would have liked being in L.A. I think he would have liked being in L.A. When you're happy, uh, you have a better disposition. And I thought and I hope that that would have been the situation for Rondo. But it's not going to happen. He's actually going to sign a one-year deal with the the Sacramento Kings for $10 million. So good for him as well. From Jeff Annis, he says, D'Angelo Russell, Julius Randle. Uh, and Jordan Clarkson is a nice core, though. Yeah. Yeah, I love the Clarkson kid. I mean, he's got a lot of potential. I don't know whether he moves to the two. I don't know if he's good enough. If he shoots the ball and he's offensively that good to put it to two guard once Kobe retires. And then you let Russell run the point. Um, I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, nice young core of players and, and Russell and Randle and Clarkson. Um, from Eugene Jackson, Doug, Cali belongs to Golden State, then the Clippers, and even the Kings are better than the Lakers. And bite your tongue. Even when the Lakers are bad, the Kings ain't better than them. Shut up, shut up. You know better than that, Eugene Jackson. From that ninja, Doug, don't talk ish about a Buckeye. Great draft pick. We'll see. And D'Angelo Russell. Chuck Town Frank, man, I went to the LFL game at the Gwinnett Center, and man, that ish is for real. They are sexy as hell, but they also play. That's the thing about it is you would think something like this, was a gimmick, okay, and, and, and I guess technically it kind of is a gimmick. It's a gimmicky thing. You know, they roll up their shirts to expose their tig old bitties. I guess it is some type of gimmick, but it's also marketing genius, and these chicks are really out there playing tackle football. <laughs> right, like, like I didn't see any type of hesitation in them throwing their head in there and making a tackle. You know, it's kind of like arena football as well where they're hitting people up against the wall. And I just thought it was fantastic, man. As you can tell, I've talked a lot about it today. I, I was totally entertained by the LFL, and I will be a, a, a constant viewer now going forward. From the Brother Beloved, Gas Station Chicken, our special eats. Yes. Yes. Once again, I said it earlier. It's hard to mess up chicken. And some of the best chicken that you can find is in some of these gas stations, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm Clay Davis's she advisor. He says the Lakers should get Jim Buss the hell out of here and bring back Jerry West. I mean, I guess it's not that simple. I mean, it is his damn team. He can do whatever the hell he wants. Um, and I don't know if Jerry West, I haven't, you know, read anything to say Jerry West wants to be back in the organization to uh, to that level. Uh, listen, Mitch Kupchak is uh He's been the uh, GM for a couple of championship teams. I mean, so he kind of knows what he's doing, too. Um, but right now, it's just it's just not looking good for the Lakers, man. It's just not looking good for the Lakers. I mean, it's, I get sick to my stomach every time I think about it. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Every single time I think about it, I get sick to my stomach. Ugh. All right. Don't go away, man. When we get back. We're going to talk about some uh, some things that went down in the NFL this past weekend. And also, I'll read more of your chat. Still talking about NBA free agency. We could talk about soccer, the World Cup. The women did it. Congratulations to them. Oh, we could talk about women, scandally clad, tackling chicks. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh. 
Hey, man, thank you for joining me on the Doug Stewart Show. Don't go away. Get your hand off that dial. We'll be right back. Fantasy sports fans are winning huge cash prizes every day at DraftKings.com, America's favorite place to play daily fantasy sports. Daily fantasy means no season-long commitments. Play whenever you want. Just pick your sport and draft your team. It's like a new season every time you play, so you're never stuck with the same players. Last year, $300 million were won at DraftKings.com, and you could be next to win big. Go to DraftKings.com now and enter promo code STU to play for free. That's Stu for free entry now at DraftKings.com. Also, if you use promo code Stu, DraftKings will match your initial deposit up to $600. Deposit $600, play with $1,200. DraftKings.com, promo code Stu. The Doug Stewart Show. The place where the real players play. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service. The Doug Stewart, Stewart Show. Show. That's a brand name. Like Pepsi, that's a brand name. I stand behind it. I guarantee it. The, the Doug, Doug Stewart, Stewart Show. If you ain't stewing, what the hell are you doing? What is 911 Tax Relief? It's a tax relief company that can help you reduce or remove your IRS or state tax debt. They'll help stop bank levies and wage garnishments by implementing offers and compromise or penalty abatements. 911 Tax Relief is a tax relief company, but they're different from the others. Their experts are licensed and enrolled tax agents, and they also have more than 12 years experience helping people solve their tax problems. They're a tax relief company that understands how the IRS works, and they'll also put that knowledge to work for you. So, they can get you the best possible settlement or solution to your tax problems. Highly rated by the Better Business Bureau, and they've helped thousands of people solve their tax problems. So, don't play around. Click on their link on my website and let 911 Tax Relief help you in your situation with Uncle Sam. Escobar season has returned. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you're not still in, what in the hell are you doing? This is the Doug Stewart Show. Uh, Man Talk Monday. I haven't even mentioned ballers and busters, man. What we do normally on Mondays is uh, talk about ballers and busters. How about this? Baller award to the LFL. Yes. <laughs> and I really hate to do this, man, but a bust award to my Los Angeles Lakers. Oh, man. I mean, you hanging your hat. <laughs> you hanging your hat on. on uh, what's his face? Uh, Roy Hibbert. You hanging your hat on Roy Hibbert. You hanging your hat on on Lou Williams. I mean, no disrespect. And I like Lou Williams. I know it's Pops. But, my gosh. Well, and you know the bad thing about this whole thing with the Lakers, if you're a Laker fan, is we're just not used to this. And so it's actually coming as a shock to us that, that these players would shun our organization with all its great legacy and tremendous history. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Um, but that that appears to be the case right now, man. The Lakers are struggling. Really didn't get a, a free agent, or hadn't hadn't got a free agent to agree to come to the team of any significance, in my opinion. And I mean, the Roy Hibbert thing would have been cool a couple of years ago, <laughs> you know, um, when he had his best year with the, with the Indianapolis uh, with the Indiana Pacers. Uh, but he's kind of come back a little bit. Um, and not only that, the, the NBA has just played totally different today, and a lot of people feel like going forward it's going to be played totally different with a lot more, uh, you know, spacing, uh, jump shooting, three-pointers being attempted, fast pace, as, as what we saw this year with the Golden State Warriors. So it's kind of distressing that in a year we saw Golden State win a championship, we pick up freaking Roy Hibbert. <laughs> the man's like Frankenstein. Hey, the man's Frankenstein. 
I mean, I promise you Roy Hibbert cannot run and chew bubblegum at the same time. I know he can't. And you've heard that saying before, man, but I know he can't. I mean, he's very clumsy, man, and, uh, he just, you know, he got some skill. He do got some skill. I, I actually liked him uh, a couple of years ago when he was uh, when he had that great year for Indiana uh, once again. Uh, you know, outside of Andrew Bynum when, ben, when Bynum had it going on and was, was healthy, you know, skill-wise, uh, you know, Hibbert was was right up there. I mean, he's not no Lou Alcinda or anybody like that, but, I mean, he was he was okay for big men. And, you know, big men really aren't half as good as seemingly they used to be back in the day. So he was all right, but, I mean, there's nothing to write home to mama about. It's just nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um, so so we've been talking about that all day long, man. And, and, and every once in a while, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show, I kind of remember about all of this stuff going on, man. And it, it really hurts me. It really hurts me. From Jay Rob, he says Spurs are going for it right now. I see Spurs and Warriors in the West. Word is that the Cavs are going for Joe Johnson. I didn't finish reading this this post in the chat. Replace J.R. Smith, possibly. Even though J.R. Smith says he wants to go back to Cleveland, he says my Bucks picked up Greg Monroe, which is a fantastic fit as well, a fantastic pick as well. Uh, which Jay Rob said is a great fit. So the Bucks will be in the top four in the East. Cavs will be in the top five. Um, Cavs will be in the top five. What is he saying here? Hold on a second. Let me see if I can pull it up. He says, I lost the email or I lost the post. He says, Cavs will be the top seed, but anything can happen. Yeah. Yeah. And Oh, my gosh. Milwaukee got a nice starting five, man. Um, ooh. You had, uh, you had Greg Monroe to this team. You got the Greek freak. Um... Uh, you get back uh, the kid uh, from Duke. Uh, his name is escaping me right now. The guy, oh, uh, Parker, Jabari Parker. I mean, they got a nice squad, man. Jason Kidd, fantastic uh, coaching job uh, his first two years in the league. Milwaukee's got a lot to be uh, excited about, man. Congratulations to the Milwaukee Bucks fans. Y'all ain't had a lot, a lot to be excited about in a long, long time. You have it. So congratulations to y'all, man. From the truth, uh, from the truth, he says, Doug, don't hate on the Lakers' moves. Uh, I think I read that one, but we'll see, man. I hopefully, hopefully everything will work out. Uh, from Clay Davis's Sheed advisor, he says, it was my birthday on Saturday. Man, happy birthday, Clay Davis's Sheed advisor. Happy birthday to you, brother. From Fatboy McCoon, he says, Della Reese was 84 in Harlem Nights. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Hey, no, once again, no disrespect to the great Della Reese, but I thought she's been long gone. I thought, I thought she was worm food 20 years ago. Bless her heart. She's still around and kicking. From Grego, so it's true the Cavs won Joe Johnson. Yeah, I've heard that from Clay Davis's Sheed advisor again. Damn, you all over this board today. Uh, that redhead is about to snatch on everybody uh, or snitch on everybody on power. You know what, man? I've talked about it before. I really hate certain characters. You know, I hate Joffrey in Game of Thrones, like everybody. I hated J.R. Ewing. <laughs> I hated J.R. Ewing on Dallas. You know, was that 30 years ago? There's a lot of characters that just make you hate them. I Skyler. Re- I hated Skyler on Breaking Bad. I, ooh, I hated Skyler on Breaking Bad. But this chick on power, you can just see. You can just see she about to drop dime on everybody. Real weak-minded. She's always scheming with Tommy, getting Tommy to spill his guts about the business. Opportunist. And, yeah. Nasty. She just is trailer. As oh. She didn't start off that way, though. Like, they had her kind of. Innocent. She was kind of innocent when she, when she first started out, when, her, when she first started uh, on the show. But now it's just like every time. They go, they, they flash to a scene with Tommy, and we're talking about power, the TV show Power. For people that look at the show, they know what I'm talking about. But Tommy's like one of the main characters, and he's just like, his nose is wide open for this chick. And the chick clearly is nosy, and she always up in their business, and she's, you know, she's just bad news, and she's going to be the downfall to the whole operation. And it's always weird when you kind of root for the drug dealers and the bad guys, because technically they're the bad guys. But that's kind of like, you know, that, that talks about the good writing. <laughs> when I watch The Wire, once again, it's very strange. It's a strange dynamic with these type of shows because, 
you know the harm that they're doing to the community, and you're rooting for them. On the wire, man, I rooted for, for Stringer Bell and, 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 and those cats. Even, even Omar, even though he was killing people, he was terrorizing the neighborhood, I rooted for Omar. Um, same situation in power, man. I'm rooting for Ghost and Tommy and these cats and um, not so much 50 Cent. you got to watch the show to understand that. But I'm rooting for these cats. And they, 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 one little thing I tell you, if you don't watch Power Man, these dudes got a room full of money that they can't spend because they're trying to figure out how to, how to wash it, how to uh, launder it, and uh, they got like a, a billion dollars in a room they can't touch. <laughs> it's crazy, and I'm rooting for these cats trying to figure out a way. Man, damn, why don't y'all do this so y'all can spend some of that cash? I'm rooting for the bad guys from Chucktown Frank Tree. Fifty said it was to promote the show when he attacked Empire. He did the interview on the Breakfast Club. Um, from the brother beloved, don't sing. Okay, let's move on from that one. The truth, Empire can't touch power. Uh, I'm not going to say that. I think both have their good qualities, um, but they're both very different. Once again, Empire, because it's on network TV, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show, is much more sanitized. It's much more commercial. Okay, than power is. Power is just real gritty. And 50 Cent, boy, he playing the hell out of his character. We got to remember now, 50 Cent's been in some movies before. Uh, even though he's probably the epitome of a thug, uh, quote-unquote thug, 50 Cent is pretty decent. He's decent. He definitely plays a a, a drug dealer to the to the T. Um, so he's doing a good job, man. From Clay Davis to she advise again, Chico 50 is a promoter. And will go to the person who's on top uh, from Chico the Alpha. 50 has too much money to hate, <laughs> exactly, from Busa. When you get shot as many as 50, you would look older too. <laughs> yeah, dude got shot nine times and survived it. And the only other person that I remember doing that was Pac, was Tupac. R.I.P. to him. From Gary Joyner, Doug's supposed to sing Silk, Meeting in My Bedroom. Yes, come in, man. Thank you for reminding me about the singing, man. Um, Let me see. Wait a minute. All right, I'm, I'm going to keep reading chat right now. We're going to get to a song here in a second, I think. I think we're going to be able to supply you with, with your daily uh, rendition of music. Stay tuned for that. From Vince Wright, he says, no singing. From Brian Hill, yeah, Doug, bust one out. Thank you, man, Brian Hill. Thank you, man. I, I, I'm probably going to sing something here in a second. Stay tuned. From John Fisher, he says, sing, Doug. And he's got three explanation points behind it. That means excitement, and he's happy. <laughs> yes, sir. John Fisher, man, I do this for you, brother, and for people like you. Thank you. Thank you. From Vince Wright, he says, no PA, no BPA for someone dying. Okay, I thought he was about to crack a boat. He says, no BPA for someone dying. Yeah, we're not. We decided not to do that. From that ninja, he did die from stupidity, allegedly. Yeah, there's no other way to characterize if you're just joining us. Uh, we talked about it earlier. A guy died this past weekend. He put some fireworks on his head and lit them. And died immediately? Are you freaking kidding me? Um, so we were trying to decide on whether we were going to nominate him for a Boiled Penis Award. But we, we're not going to do that. We're going to honor the dead. From uh, Gary Joyner. He says, fireworks on your head like he didn't have any marbles. True. From Lamar. He says, a white dude from Vermont. Uh, yeah, there was some discrepancy. We couldn't figure out. You know, And I guess it really doesn't matter if it was a black guy or a white guy. But. It was kind of confusing because the guy's name was Devon, allegedly, and that's a black people name. It was like, wait a minute, black people don't do stuff like that. We're not courageous like that. We're not stupid like that. <laughs> uh, we, we're not as daring as our white brethren to uh, do stuff like that. We don't jump out of planes. We don't, hell, we don't even swim a lot. From KC, Devon is white. Ninjas don't get that drunk. <laughs> even if I got that drunk, I'm not putting no damn fireworks on my head. From C Rain, notice how the NBA free agency took over the media. Then all of a sudden, suspensions came out left and right on NFL players. NFL has to have the spotlight. Um, and that's a very good point. I meant to talk about it uh, when we got back from the break. But Antonio Gates suspended for four games after testing positive for PEDs. Um, so, you know, Antonio Gates, he had a relatively, I'm not, I'm not even going to say relatively, last year. He finished with 12 touchdowns. Did y'all know Antonio Gates had 12 touchdowns last year? For the last couple of years, he's been kind of going down. 
He's had a lot of little nagging injuries. I mean, this is what? His 12th year in the league? And last year, he had 12 touchdowns. I had no clue that he had that good of a year. He actually tied the league for touchdowns for tight ends uh, with, with Rob Gronkowski, which I never would have guessed that in a million years. So congratulations to him. I guess he figured, man, he's going to squeeze out this last year the best that he can, and he had to go ahead and get a little boost, and he got mad for it, man. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. But, yeah, he did get busted for uh, PED use, and he's going to miss the first four games of the year. Ah, oh, man, look at the time. The last segment of the Doug Stewart Show coming up. And uh, I tell you what, man, y'all hold tight. Don't go away, man. <laughs> Don't go away. Got something special planned for you, all right? This is the Doug Stewart Show. In life, things happen, good and bad, and being prepared is always important. If you're like me, a husband, a father, and protector of that family tree, then your family is the most important thing in the world. 95 million U.S. adults don't have protection in place. So what I've done is put my protection in the hands of the largest and number one independent financial services company in North America, and that's Primerica. They look out for middle America because they believe that offering the most competitive premiums only benefits the client and have been doing so since 1977. If you're a parent, husband, or wife and want to discuss options with one of Prime America's top reps, then call my guy, Greg Wynn, at 678-439-7172. Again, that's 678-439-7172, and he'll put your family first. And hey, tell him that Doug Stewart sent you. Yes! I don't like Johnny Gill. He took my spot on New Edition. One of my favorite songs of all time from New Edition is Can You Stand the Rain? So to pay ode to that famous song, man, I'm going to give you my little rendition of uh, Can You Stand the Rain. On a perfect day, I know that I can count on you. When that's not possible, tell me can you weather the storm? Then Ralph jumps in. Cause I need somebody who will stand. Shut up! Shut up! Who will stand by me through the good times and bad times. She will always, always be right there. Hey, sunny days. Everybody has them. (laughs) Tell me who you can. You stand the rain. J. Rob, Tree, if you stop Doug singing, we will renege your BPA nomination. Huh? Bust a Doug. I see why you got kicked out of dude. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Back up. Back up, Jack. Shut up. Studio audience, y'all are out of control today. I mean, seriously, we're going to talk about this. We're going to have to take y'all into Larry's office after this show. That ninja, ninja, you just cracked my damn phone screen. What? Where's all of this coming from? Who's putting y'all up to say these things? Who's putting y'all... I, okay, Tree, Tree, jump on for a second. You're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Did you prompt these people to say these nasty things to me on Spreaker.com? You know what? I mean, it's jealousy. Tree, we know that you sing. We know that you sing. But you you don't have to be the only person that can sing. Okay? I, I can see it. I can see it. What do the kids call it? Hating? Is that what's going on here, Tree? Are you hating on Doug Stewart? Dirty Tadella. Oh. oh my God. Dirty Tadella. Oh. Dirty Tadella. Oh. <laughs> First of all, thank you for listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Now, if you've been listening for a while, you know that we've grown exponentially over the first couple of months. Whether that's listens, whether that's followers, we're blowing up and you can be a part of it. If you have a company out there and you like to promote on the Doug Stewart Show, we'd love to partner with you. Here's what you do. Email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. Once again, that's Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. Whether that's locally, regionally, or nationally, we can get the word out. What you're talking about is middle-aged dudes that love sports and love exciting sports talk. Once again, email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. 
That's Doug at the DougStewartShow.com, and we will put you out there. All right? That's Doug at the DougStewartShow.com. Let's do some business. Yes! Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show, man. We got a nice selection for you today, baby. Sit back, relax, and take it all in. Yes, sir. <clears throat> oh, we going to kill this one. <clears throat> we going to kill this one in a good way. You know, not the bad way we going to kill it. We going to kill it in a good way. It's the D, the O, the U, the G. Let me tell you what I want to do. Let me show you that I'm feeling you. Wanna freak, wanna ride with you. Wanna taste, wanna put my lips all over you. I can't get enough of you. Always thinking of you. So sweet, I can't forget. So good, girl, you make me sweat. Girl, I'm talking about peaches and cream. Yes, sir! Uh huh. Know what I mean? Peaches and cream. <laughs> Girl, you taste so good to me. Oh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show, baby. Man Talk Monday. (laughs) Oh, man. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome, man. I hear you out there bobbing your head. So I heard that in the car this weekend. I was like, man, I'm going to perform that for the Stewies, man. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much, man, for listening to the Doug Stewart Show. I, I actually enjoy when I'm able to bring you a selection like that, man. So, so you're welcome. You're welcome. Tree. Tree. Why do you have, why do you have a shotgun barrel in your mouth? Why, what's going on there? I mean, I just feel violated. I need a police officer female to come over here and give me a kit. What? Yes. I, I don't. I, 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 I don't understand that. What happened? What happened back there? Uh, you know, in the, in the uh, audio room that you that you would put a shotgun in your mouth. I mean, I don't get that. I need a kit. Bump the shotgun. Bring me a detective. I need a kit because the violation has occurred. Well, don't don't worry about tree man. Thank you so much for joining me on the Doug Stewart Show Man Talk Monday. A little peaches and cream. Yes, sir. Oh, all right, so what I'm going to do, man, is I'm going to go ahead and read more of your chat, man, uh, until we get out of here today. Very fun show. I mean, if, if you're new to the Doug Stewart Show, trust me, we do this every single day. We have a good time. I mean, you know, while some of these cats breaking down women's soccer, <laughs> we're talking about lingerie football, all right? And that type of thing, and having a good time. We're talking about the sports as well, but whatever dudes are talking about, having a good time. And also, as a bonus, uh, sometimes I'll sing for you as well. I mean, so we're all about the entertainment factor on the Doug Stewart Show. Studio audience, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know what's Tree's problem, but thank you. Thank you. Uh, From Brian Hill, uh, or from Jay Robb, he says, we got to make rules on the BPA nominations. We shouldn't nominate to those who died. Respect the dead, Doug. Yeah, I said that in the last segment. We're not going to nominate the guy that put fireworks on the top of his damn head. We're just not going to do that. I mean, uh, I mean, in all likelihood, we should maybe, but we're not going to do that. We're going to respect the dead. From Brian Hill, like Doug Grandma, it had to be drugs. Yes. Yes. If you're new to the show, I've said it many, many times. Uh, Whenever something crazy like that happens, and that there was reasonable, there, there was no reasonable explanation for it, my grandmother would blame it on drugs. It's got to be drugs. And uh, for you to put fireworks in your head, on top of your head, and light them, I mean, because they're explosives. Now, they're explosives to a much lesser degree. They aren't like the explosives from the Acme company on, 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 on Bugs Bunny. But they're explosives. And you put it on your head trying to be cute. On the 4th of July, it's got to be drugs. From Miss Mocabella, no Doug, don't give him a BPA. He died only 22 years old. Damn shame. Yeah, I didn't realize he was that young. I'm just actually hearing the story today. From the brother beloved, fell, had her mouth watering for some OJ, and only got a swallow in the bottle. Um, I don't know exactly what he's talking about. From fell paid, Doug, you know he wasn't black. <laughs> From Fred Mack, that episode of Sanford and Son about chicken necks was hella funny. <laughs> 
So today is National Fried Chicken Day. Speaking of Sanford and Son, I OD'd on Sanford and Son this weekend. My two favorite episodes all times of Sanford and Son, the episode where, where Lamont went to court for that traffic ticket and Fred said there's enough ninjas in here to make a Tarzan movie. That was one. And then right after that was the episode of, uh, of when Big Money Griff came to town and said Lamont was his, was his son. <laughs> so they had like a Sanford and Son marathon this weekend. So, so Fried Chicken Day, National Fried Chicken Day, two episodes of Sanford and Son that come to mind. One, when, when Fred was watching Lamont's girlfriend's son and they were trying to decide on necks or backs, <laughs> which one they wanted, necks or backs. Kind of goes back to that conversation me and Tree had earlier about, you know, the origin of a of, uh, of fried chicken in the community. And then also, you remember the episode where Fred and Lamont went home to St. Louis to uh, to uh, to claim a, uh, what was it, a, uh, a uh, inheritance. Yeah, they went back to St. Louis to claim an inheritance, and Fred got on the flight with a bag full of chicken wings. <laughs> And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show from uh, C. Rain. He says, gizzards are off the chain. Bruh, why would you eat a gizzard? This is 2015. Once again, I mentioned the story earlier. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. I mentioned, I mentioned it earlier, and me and Tree were talking about it. I mean, a lot of the stuff that, that we eat in our community is because that's all the hell they would give us, you know. Um and so it kind of like a generational thing, a, 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 a cultural thing where it's just kind of like passed down the pass down. And I told a story when I was a kid and we'd roll into the drive through at, at, at KFC and my old man would order a box of gizzards. That's a freaking organ. Why would you eat a fried organ? <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, this is 2015. You ain't got to eat gizzards and livers no more, man. You, you know, you, and even the... Uh, even uh, the chitlins never understood that. Never understood you eating, you know, intestines. I, I don't get that. And it's a delicacy. And people eat it. But you don't have to eat it no more, brother. It's okay. It's okay. You ain't got to eat that no more. <laughs> From uh, the brother beloved, y'all better tell him gives us done right is addictive. Uh-uh. Yeah, okay. Miss Mocha Bella, curry chicken, Caribbean style. That ninja, smoked chicken, smothered chicken, drunk chicken, <laughs> jerk chicken. Uh, fried chicken, lemon pepper. Yeah, my favorite wings are lemon pepper. My favorite flavor of wings are lemon pepper. Stewed chicken, rotisserie, grill. That's right. He came up with a couple other names of the great yard bird and uh, how it's prepared. Uh, that ninja from Staggerly. Anybody ever had them gas station gizzards with a potato log? <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. Once again, it's not hard to, uh, or it's very hard. I'm, I'm going to say it's very hard for you to mess up chicken. I mean, uh, just nothing, nothing. You know, hard about frying some chicken, man. Oh, man. Thank you for joining me today on the Doug Stewart Show, man. Shout out to Pink Gator. Yes, sir. P I N C. All right. Thank you for joining me today on the Doug Stewart Show. Man Talk Monday. Um, thank you, Tree, for all that you did today. Uh, welcome back, Tree. Huh? You got a little tan, I see. I see. I see. Uh, Shouts out to Waterhead Walter, Dwayne Vassan, Gerald Oliveri. Um, thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And a special shout out to all the Stewies. Yes, sir. Shouts out to Pink Gator once again for this track. I'm a Q. Google it on YouTube. I'm a Q on YouTube. Pink, P I N C Gator. Shouts out to your Gator. And a special shout out to all of the Stewies. We'll do it again tomorrow. Same Doug Stewart time. Same Doug Stewart channel. Peace.